American scientific ingenuity and research have found the answer to the long quest for a new synthetic rubber. Certain chemicals boiled in a soapy solution coagulate into a substance that has been named Ameripol. After being put through rollers and otherwise processed, it's just as good for making automobile tires as any natural rubber shipped from the East Indies or other far distant parts of the world. Made from chemicals easily obtained in the United States, the development of this new substance at a reasonable cost means that America should never again be faced with a rubber shortage in times of war. Coming at this time, it's right in step with the time. second United States battleship in a month prepared for launching. The 35,000 ton USS North Carolina. And Miss Isabel Hoey, daughter of Governor Hoey of North Carolina, christens the dreadnought, which when completed next year will cost about $70 million. When ready for service, its 16-inch guns will speak a language the whole world will understand. The Carthay Circle Theater is the setting for a colorful premiere of the new Warner Brothers screen triumph, All This and Heaven Too, Rachel Field's famous novel. James Stewart attends the gala opening with Olivia de Havilland and about 20,000 are on hand for the gaiety. Mr. and Mrs. Jack Warner come with Elsa Maxwell of party fame. And now the still men seem bent on shooting somebody. Hey, fellas, what's all the excitement? Ah, I see. It's Charles Boyer, star of the picture with his mother and wife. Betty Davis plays the lead role with Charles Boyer, and critics already are hailing her for another brilliant characterization. In addition to war relief fundraising activities of the American Red Cross, local chapters of the Great Organization of Mercy are working long hours making bandages for the war-torn sufferers of Europe. At Universal City, California, screen favorites, too, are doing their bit. Working on her new picture, Spring Parade, talented Deanna Durbin voices an urgent appeal. The mission to relieve the suffering of the innocent, homeless, and hungry victims of the war is the big job that faces those who live in places where there's peace. All of us, I know, are going to do everything we can for this worthy cause. Thank you. America's outstanding beauty pageant, the national contest of curves and pulchritude, which has for its finale the selection of Miss America of 1940, gets underway with a colorful parade along the famed boardwalk. Ah, the spirit of Hollywood. And here are the contestants, each one a queen in her own domain, back home that is. 46 lovelies vying for the title as the number one American beauty. 